So Bellet, Widder, Pete. And that is Widder. In the middle of there, the 14-year-old. She's got a sub, three-minute seat time. It'll be a good battle between her and Pete. He's got a 302. There's a big leap there on the final jump of the competition from Tiana Bond. Sort of go 12 metres plus. And last round, we'll keep an eye on this one. They're tucked in behind each other here. Pete just... Well, there's a move around the outside. Wouldn't say tucked in anymore. And a big move around. Well, she looks pumped. Coach Matt Horsnall looks after Nicola McDermott. Still waiting for the scoreboard to give us an update on just how far she's gone. Twelve forty-six. That's a massive leap from Bond. So, Abby Pete, the T thirty-six athlete, gets the bell. Eighty-one oh two. Went up, sitting in second place, and then Belay. They will get the bell. Just a tick under two minutes. So down the back straight, Abby Pete. Oh, here's a big move here from Samantha Witter. She's gone very early. Will Pete respond? She goes straight past. Widder, this is a long run from home. She came in with a 302. We'll see what she's got left in the tank. 150 meters left to go. Pete trying to find a little bit extra. But Widder will enter the home straight with the lead. And she should take out this event on the line. Keep an eye on the clock. 302 or 258.80 is what she came in with. And she's going to get close. when she does. 258.09. And Pete next across the line. 200 metres left to go for 